a lot of us live our lives thinking that we are going to live forever and we also say that life is too short so we don't have to worship God now we'll do that Jesus thing tomorrow to my channel this is Ragini and in today's video we are going to do the Bible study uh, from the book of Romans chapter 13 verse 11 all the way to verse 14 so if you have your Bible please go ahead and open it if you don't that's totally fine just listen to me so the title of this topic is put on Christ now this is Apostle Paul talking to the Romans telling them to put on Christ before that he talks about love and our primary duty as Christians so over here he's telling the Romans that besides this, since you know the time, he's telling to the Romans, since you know the time, we all know the time, it is already the hour for you to wake up from sleep because now our salvation is nearer than we first believed. He's telling that because you know the time, that the day is coming soon, we don't know the exact hour or day of Christ's return. Over here, he's talking about Christ's return and he's warning them, but also telling them to put on Christ. He says that wake up from sleep. Some of the things are metaphoric. It doesn't mean from your sleep, but it means spiritual sleep. Wake up. He also says that because now our salvation is nearer than when we first believed. Believed in what? Believed in Christ. Verse 12 says, the night is nearly over and the day is near. So let us discard the deeds of darkness and put on the armor of light. Darkness, the present evil age. That is what it means by darkness. And because Christ's return is imminent, it's closer. It is always closer. It's getting closer and closer. We should put on Christ and we should also help others to know who Christ is. And we as believers should cast off the work of darkness because we know these things. He also talks about putting on the armor of light. Now, what is the armor? Armor also means as a soldier who has a shield, who is ready for the war. So we as Christians, we have to be ready for the war, war against the enemy, the devil, who is trying to disguise people so that they don't come to know the truth of Christ or the gospel. But we as Christians, it's our duty to put on the armor of God which Paul also talks in the book of Ephesians chapter 6 verse 10 to 11 where he says that put on the full armor of God. Verse 13 says, let us walk in decency and in the daytime, not in carousing and drunkenness, not in sexual impurity and promiscuity, not in quarreling and jealousy, but put on the Lord Jesus Christ and don't make plans to gratify the desires of the flesh, desires of the flesh means things that we do in this present darkness age, sexual impurity, jealousy. All these things will not bring us closer to God, but will take us away because this is exactly what the plan of the enemy is. For us to fall into the fleshly desires of the world and forget what Christ did for us. That is the main goal of the enemy. But we as Christians, we do know all these things. So we, it is our duty to go out there and preach and share the gospel or good news of Christ to the Gentiles because Christ is coming anytime soon and we should live right. We shouldn't be saying that we don't know the hour and the time so we're just going to live our life the way we like because you really don't know that time or that hour will come as a thief in the night. So Paul clearly says over here, he commands, it's time to wake up. It's a command, wake up from your sleep and be ready for the coming of our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ. If you go to the book of Acts chapter 26, verse 15, all the way to 18, where Paul was in front of King Agrippa and he was sharing his testimony with him, he said the following, And I said, Who are you? This is Paul asking God, Lord Jesus. And I said, Who are you, Lord? And the Lord said, I am Jesus, who you are persecuting. But rise and stand to your feet. For I have appeared to you for this purpose, to appoint you as a servant and witness to the things in which you have seen me and to those in which you I will appear to, delivering you from your people and from the Gentiles to whom I am sending you to open their eyes 
so that they may turn from darkness to light and from the power of Satan to God, that they may receive forgiveness of sins and a place among those who are sanctified by faith in me. This is Christ talking to Apostle Paul when he appeared to Paul on the road of Damascus. He said, rise up and stand. I am calling you and I'm choosing you to do my work for his kingdom and glory, to go out there and preach his word and gospel to the Gentiles. Gentiles are the people who are not Jewish. So if you're not a Jew, you're a Gentile and so am I. The reason Paul did what Christ told him to do, that was his calling. And it is all by faith. Faith in what? Faith in Christ. So today the question is when you wake up in the morning or when you go throughout your day, do you ever ask yourself that should I leave my life for, for Christ? Can I start knowing him from now? Today is the day of salvation or life is just too short. I'm just going to enjoy and I'm going to do this Jesus thing and worshiping and prayer later because there's no later. Today is the day of salvation and Christ's return is imminent. At any given time, he'll be here. And we as Christians, we are supposed to leave our lives as the hoplite, which is the armor, the soldier, who is ready for the battle, for the war with the enemy, using the shield of faith, using the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God, the Holy Bible, amen? All right, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. And I hope you got encouraged. And more importantly, I hope you open your Bibles, you pray, and you ask our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ, to help you to understand him better and have a personal relationship with him. Overall, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all in my next video. Until then, you guys, take care. God bless you all and stay rooted in Christ. Bye.